We usually flip on our whole house fan and open up the windows, and we're not planning to do that tonight. That's because aerial spraying is taking place right now in parts of Sacramento County in an effort to target and kill mosquito populations. As of today, a total of 156 mosquito samples and 79 dead birds have tested positive for West Nile virus in Sacramento County. CBS 13's Sharin Roger joining us live now from the Pocket neighborhood with more on tonight's activity. Sharin? Yeah, Christina and Tony, this, the spraying started just before 9 tonight. It ended about 30 minutes ago. Vector Control is targeting neighborhoods in El Grove, the pocket area south of Fruit Ridge, where the mosquito activity is the greatest. And many neighbors in this zone are prepared. Using low flying planes, the spraying started right after sunset when mosquitoes are most active in areas with the most intense West Nile virus activity. I know that many of my neighbors here in the pocket area have been complaining about mosquitoes. Retired state certified entomologist Terry Allen has been studying mosquitoes for decades. The intention is to knock out the mosquito population, that is, the adult. Mosquito population. The planes release an EPA registered insecticide that, according to Sacramento Yolo Vector Control, is not sprayed in a concentration that is harmful to humans or pets. The spray covers a 41,000 acre span from the pocket area to Elk Grove and to neighborhoods south of Fruit Ridge. Many homeowners, like Allen, have been preparing. Brought a, a, a couple of the chairs under, un, put them under the patio, and I uh, picked um, some tomatoes. Uh, from my vegetable garden. It, I just don't want them being sprayed. It's scary what we're exposed to. Neighbor Chrissy Bombach is worried about possible health effects from the pesticide. Who knows what it's doing to our bodies when we breathe it? And so we're going to, you know, we're going to stay inside and close things up. Low dosage rates that we use for this material, less than an ounce per acre, it has no adverse health effects for human health, the environment, or pets. The Sacramento Yolo Mosquito and Vector Control District says there are no precautions you must take. There's no necessary precautions that we advise people to take. Of course, if it makes them feel better, they can certainly stay inside or, of course, cover their outdoor furniture, their, their, their pool. And Alan says that it is a good idea to also bring in the pet food, the water bowls, your children's toys. If you can't, make sure you rinse them the next morning, but don't let your pets drink the water that's been sitting there overnight. Also, close your windows and doors. The next spring takes place tomorrow night. A good look at the spring going on tonight. Sherman, thanks. Live in Sacramento.